and welcome back to more Sonic Generations! Last time, we saved Tails and Amy and restored Green Hill and Chemical Plant. This time, we've opened up a new area to explore, so let's head over there and see what it's like. Full disclosure, I had a failed recording, so the name of the next area will not be a mystery this time. As usual, we'll be starting with Classic Sonic in Act 1. And surprise surprise, it's Sky Sanctuary from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I honestly really like this level, as I really like Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, I really love the background detail of the Death Egg rising up in the background. It's very ominous, and does a good job of contrasting with the relatively serene, um, style of Sky Sanctuary. The level isn't perfect though, and I have a very specific nitpick about it, um, as a level, it's fine. It's all honestly really fun to play through. I like how um, it actually uses the specific types of enemies from Sonic 3, um, because they did have different uh, enemy designs in that game, and for this area specifically. And yeah, in general, this is a really fun level, um, but I have a small issue with it um, being the Sonic 3 and Knuckles level. Um, so Sonic 3 and Knuckles was originally um, two games that locked onto each other using a, a special cartridge, um, and then you could play both games as one seamless adventure. I like Sonic 3 better than Sonic & Knuckles. Um, even though they're basically parts of the same journey, I think the first half is a lot stronger than the back half. Um, so I kind of wish there were separate levels for Sonic 3 and Sonic & Knuckles, just because of that bias. Um, so even though this is still a very good level, um, I kind of wish it had been done a little bit differently. Um, here we have our first invincibility power-up and an extra life, so that's good. Um, this level is kind of tricky. We have this little platform here that moves when we run on it, or spin dash. Um, but it's also collapsing, so we have to be a little bit uh, quick there. Um, we now have these little spinning platforms, but they have little gaps in them to make it a little bit trickier, uh, because we're locked to a 2D plane and could easily fall into the into the gaps. Um, we have a falling platform there. Uh, we have these little bars that we have to hold on to. Um, there's actually a zip line above us, so I'll wait for this to go back up. Um, alright, so, um, you might have noticed the little times would pop up to show my best times and how- how well we were doing in comparison. Uh, so this is as far as I got in the failed recording, hence why no time popped up when we passed that checkpoint. Um, I wish this game didn't autosave, because that would make this a lot easier. Um, Alright, so now we're getting into the scary part of the level, because there's not a lot of platforms anymore, and there are a lot of, uh, a lot of places we could fall very easily. Uh, so let's be careful and make our way over here to a red ring and the goal. It's probably the toughest level we've seen so far because of the amount of pits, but we still got an S rank. We got artwork 4. And artwork 5. And artwork 6. Alright, so next up is Act 2. So this level is honestly really fun. Of the initial, uh, three modern stages, this is probably my favorite. Um, I love how it aesthetically captures the feel of Sky Sanctuary, but it's very original in how it's set up. 
Um, by the way, we can actually use the homing attack like so when not locked on to get a little air dash, uh, similar to in Sonic um, Adventure 2, but less powerful. Uh, and I think you could do that in Unleashed until you got the air boost, in which the air boost replaced the, um, the little uh, small air dash. Um, I'm actually surprised I'm doing as well with remembering how to play this game, uh, considering I didn't play Unleash that long ago, where uh, boost and homing attack are the same button instead of jump and homing attack. Uh, so, so I am actually impressed I haven't been accidentally boosting in midair um, because of the button switch up in Unleashed. Um, either way, uh, we have our first checkpoint there, or maybe not a first checkpoint, actually. Um, these stages fly by so fast I often forget how many checkpoints we've actually passed. Um, we have more of these clouds, um, and another rail section. Uh, over here we have these little egg, uh, ponds to, to jump off of, and we have this little, uh, um, inside area. So yeah, overall I feel like this is a very clever interpretation of Sky Sanctuary. Um, I kind of like the sort of technological look of it. Like, it's ancient ruins, but there's obviously a lot of technology powering a floating set of ruins. Um, so having this sort of, like, um, fancy, um, sort of, like, futuristic area is honestly a really cool detail. We still have these little warps, uh, from the original Sky Sanctuary on the, uh, Genesis. Um, now launch us up here, where there's another zip line and this little pathway here. In general, this game looks really pretty still. It's 10 years old and actually is still one of the better looking Sonic games. Same, same with Unleashed, actually. Unleashed looks really good for its age. Um, a few issues are apparent though, like some of the shadows I've noticed look a little bit pixelated, and on 360, the uh, cutscenes actually are very uh, low res for some reason. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the case on PS3. Um, I've actually played both versions, by the way. Um, there's a shortcut if we can defeat that egg pond before it uh, steps on the switch. Um, I really like uh, the collapsing ruins as well, um, even though I'm pretty sure that kind of dropped the frame rate a little bit when that happened. Uh, this is being played on an actual 360 by the way, and not like a 1X or a Series X, hence the uh, frame drops. Um, but yeah, it is forward compatible to current gen Xboxes. It was also on PS3, um, obviously that version is a little bit harder to play by comparison, uh, but uh, that should be about it. Uh, there's the goal. Overall, things are going pretty well so far. Thanks for the help. Not that I needed it, but it's good to have my sanctuary back. Hmm. What is this place? It's so white and creepy. I've never seen anything like it. Challenge Act gates have appeared. New challenges await you in each act. There are five challenges each in Acts 1 and 2 for a total of 10 challenges. An icon is shown next to each challenge act gate that shows what kind of challenge awaits you. You got Artwork 7. So, uh, this game does have a little bit of padding because if we go over here... Find three boss gate keys to unlock the boss gate and face the boss. You can get a boss gate key by clearing one challenge act in either Act 1 or Act 2. Make sure to come back here after you've obtained a key. We actually do have to play one challenge per area, so let's get started. Um, for this, I want to try out uh, this particular challenge. Doppelganger Race. Face off against Sonic's double and beat him in a race to the goal. Let's 
So this one will be pretty easy because we just got through this stage. Um, but each act, Act 1 and 2, have a doppelganger race uh, against a time trial ghost, basically. Uh, we have 3 minutes for an S rank time. This is entirely based on time and not any other uh, score mechanics. Um, and for these challenges, I'm not overly concerned about uh, S ranks. Um, I would like to get S ranks, obviously, because that means we're playing well, but um, in terms of like achievements or trophies, uh, depending on what platform you're on, um, you're not actually required to um, get S ranks on the challenges, to my knowledge, only for the main stages. Um, there are achievements for like collecting the star rings and completing all of the challenges, but not actually S ranking anything in this particular uh, set, uh, set of challenges. Um, so yeah, overall this is actually a fairly easy Sonic game to get all achievements on, especially after the hot dog missions have unleashed. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is get S ranks in the main missions and then collect all the rings and um, complete the challenges regardless of rank. So yeah, overall it's pretty easy going. Um, in general, uh, Sonic Generations is honestly kind of an easy game. Um, and it's also kind of nice, uh, in a way, again, because of how challenging the last few were. Uh, color is, I don't think it's particularly difficult, be but because of the color mechanics, um, it is actually difficult to get S ranks because you're required to use a lot of color powers, um, to boost your score. So the score, uh, ceilings are honestly really high in those, uh, those stages. Um, I'm actually playing a lot worse than the first time through Sky Sanctuary, but I'm not too concerned. Uh, we're really far ahead of Doppelganger, and uh, yeah, if we're not concerned about actually getting an S rank on these challenges, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like padding that you're required to go through at least one, but luckily uh, they're not too bad. Um, in addition to the races, there are more specialized challenges, uh, often um, involving wh whichever uh, friend was rescued from each uh, stage. So Knuckles has a level for Sky Sanctuary, Amy has one for Chemical Plant, and Tails has one for Green Hill as an example. It's also weird to me that uh, Knuckles is so far the only character rescued in the stage based on the actual game where he's from, because of Amy being rescued in the Sonic 2 stage and Tails being rescued in the Sonic 1 stage, so it's actually kind of weird in that regard. Um, I don't think we'll make it in time for the S rank, but honestly we got a lot closer than I thought we would. I'm pretty sure the the A rank time is also pretty strict on this, uh, so I don't think we'll even get that. I almost fell off the ledge, which would have made this time even worse. Um, yeah, I don't think we're even getting a, an A rank on this. Uh, that ate my jump input for some reason, so we are definitely not getting an A rank. No big deal though, uh, we just need to jump down here and boost over to the goal, uh, which should be past uh, this tower and across this zip line. Not a great run of that level, but we still cleared it. A bonus bell has been added to a challenge act gate. Ring the bell to make a note appear, and grab it to add new pieces of artwork or game music to the, to the collection room. So if we ring the bell, we have to catch up to this little musical note to unlock something. Artwork 41 in this case. The field around this key also disappeared. This is a boss gate key. To get a key, a protective shield must be removed by clearing one of the ch one of the challenge acts in either Act One or Act Two. Collect three boss gate keys to unlock the boss gate and challenge the boss. So we need to do challenges in Green Hill and Chemical Plant, uh, but first I want to go over here uh, for something special. We have a very special uh, fight over here. Face me if you wish to have the Chaos Emerald. And we have a rival battle with Metal Sonic.
Weirdly enough, there isn't a Sonic CD stage in Sonic Generations, but we do have a boss fight based on it at least, uh, with Metal Sonic in Stardust Speedway. I totally ran past him. That kinda sucked. At least I was able to make up for that and caught up to him. So, uh, I also really like the remix of the Stardust uh, Speedway music as well. Um, the Japanese soundtrack more specifically because there's actually a US and a Japanese soundtrack for that game. The momentum here is actually really tricky to work with because you're kind of being pushed forward a lot, making it actually hard to back up when necessary. This is definitely not the smoothest uh, attempt at this fight I've ever had, but uh, so far we're actually not doing too badly. Um, this is when things get a little bit challenging because the road is still collapsing behind us, uh, but we also need to kind of hang back a bit to avoid those. Um, Alright, that's one more hit down, so what's next? I also really like this background. Um, Alright, we need to jump on top of platforms. I actually missed the platform, so that's a problem. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to play out now, as a result. Alright, we still dodged it. Almost. Based on how poorly I played and not having any rings at the end, I'm honestly amazed that was still an S rank. You got a Chaos Emerald. Legend says collecting all seven will cause a mysterious power to emerge. So if we, if we look in the top right corner, we can see the chaos symbols we found and also the keys. So uh, we will continue searching for keys uh, a little bit later uh, in order to get to the boss gate. So thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next time for more Sonic Generations.